Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is network address translation, or NET. For the first two decades of the internet, the computers on a private network connected to the internet worked this way. Get a block of unique public IP addresses and assign them to each computer and the LAN side of the default gateway. Then assign IP address of ISP's router on the one side of the default gateway. Then tell each computer on the private network the default gateway's IP address. All IP addresses here in this setup are public IP addresses. This classic setup has at least two big problems. One, security vulnerability. Since IP addresses are public, everyone can access this so-called private network. Two, IP address exhaustion. As the internet grows larger and faster than anyone ever could imagine, IP addresses were running out very quickly. To solve these problems, private IP addressing and network address translation, or NET, come to rescue. Private IP addresses are free to anyone but not routable. NET is a process or a technology where a router or similar network device translates one IP address into another. Specifically, a router translates an internal host private IP address into the router's public IP address for outgoing traffic. And it also translates the router's public IP address into internal private IP address for incoming traffic. NET improves security because internal host's IP addresses are hidden. NET together with IPv4 private addressing scheme conserves IPv4 address space and thus extends its lifespan. There are four types of NET, static NET, dynamic NET, PET, and port forwarding. Please let me explain for you one by one. SNET stands for Static Network Address Translation, a type of NET where one private IP address is mapped with one public IP address. These public IP addresses never change, and that's why it is called static NET. SNET allows an internal host, such as a web server, to have a private IP address and still be reachable over the internet. This type of setup is useful for providing services for both internal and external users, but very wasteful of expensive public IP addresses. SNET deals more with incoming traffic. In contrast to static NET, dynamic NET deals more with outbound traffic. The mapping of internal private IP address into the router's public IP address is not static, but dynamic. Take a look at this example. We can see whenever an internal host connects to the internet, the router would replace the internal private IP address with its first available public 
IP address from its pool of public IP addresses. When the packet comes back from the internet, the router reviews the net table and forwards the packet to the corresponding internal host. Dynamic net is also called IP masquerading because it masks the internal hosts and makes it very difficult for external hackers to monitor a specific host. The downsides of a dynamic net is of course very expensive as the router would maintain a block or group of public IP addresses. Port Address Translation or PAT is the most common form of network address translation. With PAT, each host on the line is translated to the router's one-side public IP address with a different port number assignment. Port numbers are used to map traffic from specific hosts on the network. When an internal host initiates a session with an external server, its private IP address is swapped for the router's public IP address on each packet and attached with some unique port number making each session unique. Returning traffic is swapped back through the router's net table and send to the original host. The mapping of internal IP address and port number to a translated IP address and port number enables perfect tracking of packets in and out. PAT can handle many internal hosts with a single public IP address since TCP IP port number space is a 16 digit value. Some of those port numbers are used for common protocols, but tens of thousands are available for PAT to work its magic. Last but not least, port forwarding. Port forwarding deals more with incoming traffic, and the typical scenario is when you have only one public IP address but with several public servers. Take a look at this example. We have three servers, web, FTP, and mail servers, both for public internet users and internal users. The external users can access web server by the gateway's public IP address on port 80. The same principle applies to the FTP server and mail server. Any inbound traffic on TCP port 21 will be forwarded to the FTP server. And all inbound traffic on TCP port 25 will be forwarded to the internal mail server. In summary, NAT is a technology where a public IP address of a router is swapped with a private IP address of an internal host. NAT improves security because internal host's IP addresses are hidden. NAT together with a private IPv4 addressing scheme conserves IPv4 addresses and extends its lifespan. Otherwise, long before the year 2011, everyone would have already used IP version 6, which is another topic in another video. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.